What's up guys, Greg Hitchcock here. And did you know that by changing the fork height in your triple clamps changes the geometry of your bike and how it actually handles? Also, making sure we've got the correct torque on our triple clamp bolts ensures smooth operation of our front forks. Today, we've got the Moto Experts Race Tech Suspension Specialist to help us understand fork height, how it changes the geometry of the bike, and making sure we've got the correct torques for our triple clamps. Fork height is a critical aspect for tuning, depending on the type of riding that you're doing. So when we're setting up a suspension for a specific discipline like motocross, um, we will specify a uh, fork height. Um, so on the CR, our specification is flush with the top of the tube. And what this does, the fork height will affect the rake of the bike, the cornering and its high speed stability. Um, and this is a tuning factor. So just because we specify flush, it doesn't mean that the rider um, can't make adjustments to suit his style. Um, so if you're wanting a little bit more precise cornering, you might raise the forks a line or a millimeter or two in the clamps and that will help the front end to settle. However, you might experience a little bit more of an active um, front end under high speed conditions, maybe a little more head shake. That's one of the first things we'll verify and adjust is the fork height. So this is also extremely critical. A lot of times people will over torque these lower pinch bolts. And what that does, it will create a binding in the fork. So uh, your forks consist of an outer tube and an inner tube, inner and outer bushings. And as those bushings slide past this area inside of the fork, if this is over torqued, you will experience what we call a mid-stroke harshness or a binding as those bushings go through that uh, go through that fork tube. So we will torque 17 newton meter, 12 newton meter, um, and that's kind of the ideal torque on on all these bikes. Um, all right, guys. So these are only the beginning steps of making sure your motorcycle is set up properly. For things like ensuring that your front wheel is installed correctly, along with setting your sag and understanding compression and rebound clickers, head over to the channel for those videos. But as always, ride hard, be safe. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.